Okay. Hello, everybody. I need to be able to look up now because it's no longer my my laptop webcam that we're using. Enough. What you can't hear me now? No. I have the mic on. My God. <laughs> Why? So many errors today. This is oh, true. Might be me. Might be me. You okay, fucking. It was me. It was me. It was me. I am gonna beat your ass. I am gonna beat your ass, bitch. Yes, my God. Okay. So hi. <laughs> As you can see, we're a little traumatized because I was caught with like a surprise um, update of my drive that completely derailed my setup, but it's fine. We're here, we're queer, and we're ready to code. So what I thought we were going to be doing today is that we're going to be going back to the press page, but now what I'm working on, let me pull it up for you guys here, is making it mobile responsive in general just a responsive design you know in the way that like it shrinks it, it it grows the way it should with different screens so what we had before was basically let me shrink this boy over here we have like the desktop layout which is basically something like this which we have like all the stuff just laid out like this beautiful yada 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 but now what i'm working on this so when people are using this, not this, but when people are using this on smaller screens, so say this would be like a tablet, so it would w still work. You see how things collapse and become smaller, like things move, not over here exactly because I haven't done this part yet, but over here on the top, I've had already done a little bit of work. So you can see like how things are moving and stuff to make sure they fit the screen. You know, when I take it all the way down to like a mobile, it's gonna be somewhere around here. Like this is one of the bigger screen mobiles, you know, like maybe a Samsung or like an iPhone maybe. So things will shrink and people will still be able to read it. Of course, this is not yet fully optimized. I'm still working on it. It's still a process because the tiniest mobile we can have is something around this size. So it still needs to work like this. And as you can see, when we get this small, we get a few little issues like this one over here, which is what I'm going to first try to fix. Because as you can see, I'm going to highlight it here. We have this fact sheet session and it's supposed to end around here. But the email here for our contact email is spilling over the lines. And when we go here into the content, you can see that like, every single one of this is technically overflowing like even this one all the way up here the the location thing like it's overflowing so i need to try to figure out what is going on and why it's overflowing my guess and i feel like this yeah this fully is just making my guess real it's the grid because the grid is not shrinking the way it should as you can see like they, these are like the sides of the grid so the, these are supposed to be like the maximum it goes to the side and when we start shrinking the small that maximum gets hidden away and the smaller we go like the more it just doesn't work so we need to try to figure out what is going on and why it is doing that. So let me pull this boy over to my other screen. So I have it here for reference. Posture check. And what? Posture check. Oh, I'm already bad posture and I forgot the music. I am kerfuffled. Right. Oh, there's somebody new in the chat. Save why? Because reasons. What's up, bro? <laughs> what are you doing thank you for joining us are you also a fellow game dev web dev i'm gonna put in the music meanwhile let me know if it's too loud i'm gonna regulate it for myself uh let me know if you can still hear me <laughs> in general because the mic is in between me and rick it's saucy with the music the design if it's the design thank you i do try to design saucily <laughs> uh so let's see let's see let's see so we're gonna be working on the fact sheet let me try to find it 
Here's branding. Blah, blah, Working blah, blah. on the press page. I don't know if this. Uh... Oh yeah, and I, I completely forgot to contextualize this. Thank you. Uh, this that we're working on, I have the code open. This that I had open is the actual thing. This is the press page for the game that we're currently developing. Um, I'm the marketing person dash the designer, so I'm developing that side. But the boys are working on this, which is Droyan. It's a Metroidvania featuring this good boy over here named Ian. And yeah, it's gonna be his little adventure for space and he's gonna face some weird shit like this boy. And this boy, the Nocti Wings, I love his name. And also this boy, the Osteomutron, which I also love his name. And yeah, we're working on the press page so the press can find our game. Let me lower the music just a little bit because it's a little too loud for my ears. Um, but yeah, so the press can find our game and talk about our game when they have some free time and they want to talk about games and stuff. It's always good to have your information nice and organized. So when press people are bored they, and they want to talk about you, they can easily talk about you. Make things easier for them. So let me pull this back up to my other page. And okay, so this is the html for what we're working on let me find okay then this is the css my thing is that's probably this line this line right here that is doing what it shouldn't what it's oh his name is saucy okay oh it's saucy from discord oh hell yeah okay okay how you doing how you doing i'm pretty sure it's this i'm pretty sure it's this pretty sure it's the 500 because that screen is not 500 yeah that is smaller so we need to make this smaller but then maybe when we go bigger it's not gonna work we're gonna see we're gonna see so the smaller screen we have which is that smallest mobile that i'm going for is 230 about 230 this is 500 pixels, so that's too much. So maybe if I put 200 pixels here, and we'll see how it divides up. Okay, that did not fix it. That's strange. There must be an overflow thing. Grid content, maybe? Grid auto overflow, no, auto flow, auto flow, maybe? Uh, column maybe no 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 that definitely was not what we wanted um okay 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 it's the other options roll dense initial on set roll maybe they roll Jake they roll no that did nothing okay this must not be what we want <laughs> ah what the fuck who did that fcado uh, you course. motherfucker, I was concentrating. <laughs> okay, okay. He's okay. so happy in chat. I know. Of <laughs> course he is. Of course he is happy. You got me. Okay, I'm gonna need to do a little searchy search here real quick. Let me pull it up. Can I pull it up on this side? No, okay, then we'll do pull this. Pull up on him. What? Pull it up. Pull up on him. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, grid. No. How to deal with overflow on display grid. Maybe that will give me something, I don't know. Um, reject all, I don't care about the cookies. I don't want the cookies. Okay, how to fix for horizontal doesn't want overflow. Do, 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 do. This sounds like a good one, let's check this. Why is it so white? Ugh. You know bugs are attracted to light. Thank you. TikTok taught me that one. Um, okay, cause. Um, vertical. No, I have horizontal overflow. The scrolling of the grid is disabled. But I don't want any scrolling. Columns cannot fit the available horizontal space. That is determined within the width of the parent. Okay. Okay. So. I don't want to enable scrolling. Um, set the width 
that is large enough to display the continental width or set a min width style. Okay. Okay. But I do have that and it's not really fixing it. Hmm. Yeah, even the content I have it in min wait 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 I minimized it I need the I need the other thing let me check real quick here let's let's fully boy um yeah this one hmm. that one's where I have oh, okay this is P and H that one doesn't seem to be doing anything hmm. Yeah, that rule set doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let me, let me real quick. Where is it? Yeah, this boy. If I delete it. Oops, I forgot this, this, this thing. Yeah, that was fully doing nothing. Okay, cool. Um, but I'm still confused. Why? Because we got the min at 200, so it should be fitting. Why is it spilling? Unless we need to do like a secondary div to organize, but that doesn't, that doesn't make sense though. Maybe I need to set. Hmm. Any anybody got any 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 ideas, <laughs> any vibes? Because like I'm confused because I already have this as as like two hundred, but it's still spilling over. I'm confused between like do I need to set? But this is already like it, it's there. It's even spilling over to that, so that's not the thing. I need to be able to set for these boys. I maybe need to put them in another thing. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's 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 try. Let's try. Let's try. I'm gonna create another div. Oops. I'm gonna create another div here with the class of uh, fact sheet text I don't have anything like that right right okay cool and I forgot the little the little doodads that go on the top of the thing where is the thing here's the thing okay yeah then we're gonna close the div and then we're gonna bring the closing of this div all the way down all the way down over here so it's fully What are you guys even talking about in the chat? I still he was saying that <laughs> it was he said that like earlier I asked her, how are you doing and he said that he's been doing good but he's putting off learning C sharp five cards said to better learn it on Unity because game dev makes it better. <laughs> I said that I've been putting off for learning GD script but five cards bails me out. <laughs> uh, he also said that yeah he downloaded unity and started working on a floppy bird remake to which i said i'm ambitious to remake such a masterpiece true day true day okay max with fit content but, but if anyone in chat has any ideas about how to help with this situation here in html fit content right save nope that did nothing like we're trying to maybe show it for maybe show the, the thing again so that Kava can see it. I don't know if he saw it earlier. We're trying to deal with this spillage right here. Like you see, like this is doing the right thing. This is not doing the right thing. And I do not understand why, because they're the same thing. Whoa, wait, but now it's doing other things. Wait, wait, I done goofed somewhere. <laughs> wait, 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 this is no bueno. This is no bueno. Is it this? No, I did not then go here. Oh, it must be the 200. It must be the 200. She about to is beatbox it? with her hand on her mouth. Wait, wait, wait. I don't go for my own code. Fuck me. 
Is it this? Let me go back. It doesn't really make sense for it to be that, but, but, but I guess it was that. Okay, okay, it was that. It was that. But now it's weirdly centered. Why are you weirdly centered? Okay. It does seem to be working slightly better. Mm, not really. It still eats the thing. Fuck me. Okay. Oh, wow. But why are you eating the thing, brah? Like, it only doesn't eat the thing when I set it to 200, but then it still eats the thing on the email, and now it's not even centered. Okay, I, I know how to deal with the centered. What the fuck? What happened? Nope. What happened? Go back. Go back. Go back here. Can you please give me back my... Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The user errors today. Or they were me. Um, okay. But I think I know how to deal with the centering. I probably just need to do like a margin. Margin zero auto. The beautiful classic. That does not disappoint ever. Yes, 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 of course. It's always margin zero auto. Yeah, five cards said, I, go, I guess I, well, I guess I don't need to analyze it, then you found it. Not really. Cause like, it's still not really respecting the what it should do. Like, what, can you? Like, it is centered now, which yay, I fixed that. Yay. But like, Oh, oh, wait, why is it not doing the thing? Huh. Hmm. 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 Things are afoot. Hmm. Hmm. I think the div is fucking stuff. Things. Up. Some a div, the div ain't divin' it. I think, yeah, I think the div is not divving. I think I need to put the grid. Yeah, wait, let me check the thing that, that uh, we were reading. Because this thing says that, like, I need to set a width that is large enough to display the content. Okay, yeah, duh. Or set a min width style to the div five card of says, the grid. Five card says that it's oh. the sub div after the title. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that div is not, not doing anything good for us. I'm going to go, go, go back. I'm going to go back. Why do I have two CSSs open? I'm going to go back on that div. We do not want that div. Goodbye, Mr. Div. Okay. So, okay. We got rid of that div. Now things are more fucking dead than before. Show, show, show the stream. <laughs> Did it? We fucked up more, boys. It's okay. We can fix it. Okay. So now it's opening up to many, many, many columns when we do not want that. Five card says you may have an extra div there as well, crapping things. No, but divs are good to divide things up. Like right now on the facts, uh, fact sheet part, I only have like the section. Then I have the title as just an H1, and I only have one div that is like the content that has like the bulk of the text inside. So we're working with just one div. I feel like that's good enough. I'm gonna go back on this 200, I'm gonna go to 500, okay. That does work better. Yeah, it's the 200 that was fucking up the the divide. Because if we do 500, it does the way it should, you know? Like 2-2, two, two, and then it goes to 1. But then we go back on the issue that we had before of the spillage. We are spilling everywhere. But let's try like the guy, Ooh, nope, this is not what I wanted. Um, it was here, yeah. But it said to set a min width style to the div of the grid. I guess I have a max width, I can set a min, like, I don't like, I don't like setting min widths, but I guess we gonna have to do that. So the min width, 200 pixels, I guess. Okay, save. Let's see what that did do. That did do nothing. That's what that did do. <laughs> nothing. We ain't got nothing changed. 
Uh, you just see the having empty after columns may divide it wrong. But I see you what? maybe in the right direction. What? Uh -huh. Five cards said... Uh, like have empty after columns? May divide it wrong. What do you mean empty after columns? The column is autofill. Like there's no empty, like the, these little spaces are the gap because I do have a gap set of 20 pixels. And basically the way the grid is working that is like auto and it's set like in between this parameter. And it's like every time it hits 500 pixels, it goes another column. So like, because it's limited to 1,200 pixels, it only does two columns. So it's like boom, boom. And then when we shrink, it goes back to one. But my problem is that somehow it overflows. And I don't understand how, what, what should I do? Because I now have set a mean width. And the mean width don't do nothing. The fun is the struggle. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I understand that fully now. Let me see if the min width is doing. The min width is not doing shit. That was a lie. D this website, liar. Liar. Like, that. this did nothing. Completely nothing. Okay. That is so, so the div class. Apply a display table? Or display table cell? Huh? That's display a, table? I've never used that. What's a display table? We're going to find out. But I already have display grid. How can I put this uh, display grid and display table? That doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'm going to do it anyway. Display Let's find out. table. It said display table or display table cell. Okay, so let's do display table, I guess. Nothing. And... It is mixing with my display grid. It's literally messing with the display grid. Nope. Yeah, we can't have two displays like that. That contradicts. Like, you can't have two orders. Of, is, it, did an AI write that? Okay, but five cards says, uh, for example, having an empty div between the divs that have info the info thingy, but haven't analyzed HTML to confirm it. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. Like, the section we're working on is this one, you know? So, as you can see, like, there's only one div inside here. There's no other divs. Oh, the rest is all, like, stuff and things. And the kisser showed up, said that... Ah, hello! Can, ...said that they can't stay, no audio, just filled out paperwork for my new employment, and I headed to my car oh, the on shuffle. the shuttle. Hell yeah, kisser! Hell yeah, I mean, good luck. Good luck with the new employment. Go, 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 girl. And the she best yo. of luck with everything. Just careful not to she yo too close to the sun, girl. I've done that. It's painful. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to find another one. Another thing. Okay, how to solve CSS grid overflow. Let's see this one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Max width of a hundred overflow scroll. No, but I don't want a scroll. I don't want a scroll solution. Yeah, all of them said oh. zero px. What? What? There's no minimum. No, that would give it zero pixels of minimum. Yeah, which doesn't exist, so there would be no minimum. Yeah, that does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. And yeah, and also also the justify constant space evenly is not doing shit either. And actually, why is the display grid buggy? Wait, wait. Oh, do I still have the display? Th oh, I haven't. I haven't saved. Okay, that's why. No, man. I don't have the display table anymore, my bro. Okay, let me close that because I feel like it might be bugging. Okay, I think my thing might be bugging. I need to <laughs> reload the, the thing. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now it's good. Okay, now it's doing all the things. Yeah, but the min width zero does nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. I can click it on and off and like zero, zilch. Does not work. 
Oh wait, but hashtag red. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. You need to mess around with the max width. Five card says, make it smaller. No, 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 no. Can't do that. Can't do that. That's gonna mess around with how the grid looks in the desktop, and we cannot mess with that, because max needs to be the maximum. Like that. That's not. No. <laughs> Just no. That's not it, my friend. I'm sorry. Let me try to do that hashtag grid that they're doing. I don't understand what that does. I've never used this these sort of commands, but I want to try. They do this. And then they open the thing and do min width. And instead of none, they do 0px. With no, opx, 0px. Like, I'm pretty sure that's going to do absolute nothing because that's not a line of code, right? Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, I'm just checking. Just checking. Just checking. But that's the problem because to H and P fill the length of the max. Yeah. We need to mess with them and not the max width of the grid, though, because like, let me let me explain. You're going to get it like we can mess with the max width of the grid because when we go into desktop size, it needs to be limited to the max width of 1200. So it doesn't go higher than two columns or else anybody like if you have like a huge monitor screen, like I'm pretty sure the one you have. Like it would keep going and we have like four columns of things and it would mess up like the way the text is organized. So we do need it like to be set like at that max width and also so it collapses, you know? So it does the, the, the thing. No, wait, that's a min width. Yeah, that's the min width. But like the max width is so it doesn't just keep replicating columns once it's on the big screen. So we need it to be like tight to that measurement so it follows the design of the website. But now we need, I kind of had that, but it didn't do anything in which like I was trying to set like a rule for the, the P elements and the H2 elements of this section, like using like, um, it was dot fact sheet content and then P and H2 and then da, 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 open, nope open the thing like I tried to do this but it didn't do what it needed to like min width I guess I could just do auto and like I do that and like it does absolutely nothing there's no change what oh, what the fuck nope come back and when I check here like it would affect all of these and when you check the things that are affecting them, you don't see anything here that is that thing that we set, you know, the min width being zero, like it just, it doesn't address it for some reason. Yeah, well, five, you saw the last one that five cards set. Uh -huh. I probably would set up those limits in the entire website, website, but I get it. I actually do have a margin that sets it for the entire website, but the grid wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't... Wouldn't grid. No, it wouldn't yeah. obey that thing. <laughs> it was just doing its own thing, you know? Because I do have it, like, when I go all the way back here. All the way. You can see the... I have a thing here. Where is it? Where is it? Not this is the media things. Um, HTML, B, blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Where did I put it? Yeah, true body. There you go. I have like a max width. Maybe I should put it in like the, the size. No, but that's going to be too. Mm. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. I think it might have a point. Instead of doing max width, because I have the body here doing this. I can do it on the body or also affect the heading. I do need to do it here but it maybe instead of doing because we're doing a max with a 90 it's probably best to do use percentages though let me see because the true body is here we also have overflow on the true body let's check let's see let's see 
because right now this is what we have for the true body we have the max margin yeah it basically like squeezes it and then we have the inline so it's centered okay if card says and that's what something. it's this Yeah, when it's getting small, the 90% is not really working. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to use as less of media queries as possible because, like, I don't know, I've been doing some research about uh, responsive design and, like, a lot of people say that, like, when you use media queries, you're trying to be, like, pixel perfect, so you're designing for, like, specific breakpoints. And because of the amount of devices we have nowadays and the variations in sizes, that can cause a lot of responsive issues. Like when it's not exactly the way you thought it would be because it's not exactly that breakpoint. So I'm trying to like make the website work for it. And then if it's absolutely needed, I'll use a media query, you know. Uh, eh, kind of, but not really, you know. It's like different approaches, you know, maybe we can try like instead of max width 90, I'm going to try to do this. Let's see. No, that's no, it's even worse. Yeah, no, let's go back. The 90 is better. Yeah, it shrinks more in the 90. But it's still not respecting. Maybe I like the overflow needs to be set here or something watch me work on this session the whole time i need to maybe try to tackle another one because i've been stuck on this for hours on hours and i just wish i could fix it uh well let's try to set a min a min width i guess no but if i set a min width for the website it just won't let it mm, i see uh, see five car will learn the more on the using the uh, media queries more so yeah he understands. because back in the day it used to be like the best approach it used to be very simple but nowadays like they're the screen size are varying so much like we have those ultra wides now right. that like deeply fuck up a website's design for going like too big and then Even like the phones. tablets each tablet is a different size like they have no standardization and then phones are the same thing like you can get a phone that is like much smaller and then a phone that is like almost a tablet so it's like it's hard to make it fit with media queries it's always best to like make just the the base code work as much as you can oh i'm missing semicolons wait wait what is going on uh no we're not missing a semicolon there Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. It's fine. But I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Because, like, it doesn't make any sense that it would be a thing. Um, let me think. Let me think. We have a margin in line. What if we do a margin? Like the classic margin, instead of a margin inline, we do the classic zero auto. Zero auto is trust, zero auto is life. Nope, that did nothing. <laughs> zero auto, you betray me. You betray me, zero auto. There, there. I feel betrayed. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. <sighs> I do not understand. I'm going to I'm going to move on because this is driving me insane. I'm going to just leave that there so I can maybe try to fix it later on because I don't understand at all. Maybe I need to put it in this guy. Like this did nothing, so we can take it off before my code starts becoming a mess again. Because I have a tendency to fall to that. I feel like it's overflowing even more now. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah, it's because of the true body. It's overflowing the true body. Kado might, uh, might be onto something. 
Uh, thank you. Let me give, okay. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Kado might be onto something. It might be a problem with the true body. Can you serve the reminder? Uh, saucy. Everyone in chat should hydrate as well as the streamer. But that's just that just hides the overflow. I don't want to hide the overflow. I want the overflow to wrap. What? Uh, you were saying things. No, he. Uh, I don't know if this means anything to if you have Sublime Text Free, which he personally uses for dev web stuff. But you use heavier versus ID ID to code. I guess your PC is powerful enough. It doesn't matter. What is this? <laughs> so it's it's the the program I use VS I think I think mine is VS. Visual Studio, yeah. Yeah, I use Visual Studio, yeah. For no particular reason, it just has plugins, and I like the plugins. Yeah, you do. You, it, that's how you get all the those effects, right? Yeah, I just like the plugins. It's the only reason. Scroll value, hidden value, visible value. This bigger value. It's a texting, it's a texting. I am so confused. It must have to do with that thing. The body, because it's overflowing the body. Let's ask an AI. Let's see if an AI can help us out. Let's call in Chandler. Chandler. <laughs> in case you missed that joke last time. Please. It Chandler is what we call the the Bing AI. Get it? Because Chandler Bing. Okay, I need I need this to be precise. How do I heal? How do I fix? Okay. A body. Five card is also has he was actually about that. He actually just has to explain what you want to do so that so you can see if he can figure out the problem. To try and help. I'm basically what i'm seeing here is that our overflow of our overflow problem is not like it's not that area it's the whole thing you know like i wish i, I could keep that toggled i don't really know yeah i don't think i can keep that toggled all the way but like as you can see like up here things are fine because like they're set better and then down here things are fine cool down here already get troubles like there's already stuff going out of the lines that shouldn't it's already spillage and then when we get down here there's even more trouble like it's completely not respecting the parameters of the body it's overflowing the body so what i'm trying to figure out is like how do i make things not overflow the body make the body more you know tight per se but I don't want to hide overflow. overflow. Like I've seen this hide overflow, but like I don't want to hide it because then we're going to be hiding infl inflammation. And the scrollable looks so ugly. How am I going to use Java if I don't know how to use Java? <laughs> if you have a job, honey. I have no idea what this says because I don't know JavaScript yet. Yeah, AI never really helps. Like maybe I can try that overflow thing, but I'm done. I don't know. Where is it? Let me try it. Overflow. Auto, I guess. Save. Nope, I did not want to open that. 
yeah it just kind of cuts everything you know i didn't want that that did help but not the way i wanted it to be scroll five of cards says that you don't need to check with such small resolution either check 360 res in, in size instead of 226 you think i've been questioning that so much my bro like i've been questioning that a lot and i don't know because like there's tiny phones like i wish but does it get lower than that well yeah like i can put it here like on actual like iphone 11 okay no that's kind of bigger uh 12 oh okay they are kind of bigger ish nowadays yeah, I don't think they do. The Galaxy. Okay, okay. So maybe I shouldn't be that worried. Okay. Because even on the iPhone, it does work. Right. Okay, I'm going to completely ignore that then and move on because this is driving me absolutely insane. Like, you have no idea. I've been on this since the last time I was working here. And still couldn't figure it out, as you could clearly see. So let's move on. Yeah, who uses small uh, five cards? Who uses phone smaller than three sixty p? I guess yeah, that is very true. Very true. Okay, so now we got everything working. Things are good. Okay, so now join history. I had already kind of tightened together, as you can see. Like you have the big image of the thing, and then we have text, text, text. Then we have Nocti boy. Then we have this boy. Now we need to work on this drawing video thing because as you can see the playlists are off to the side so we need it to do what it's supposed to do so let's investigate first it's this one okay hmm they're not respecting yeah these boys are not respecting stuff yeah, they're off to the side. Um, yeah, because they don't have like a size. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I think this is gonna be relatively straightforward. So say what they say that I tuned in because I now know that programming is a painful process and I feel better about my programming struggles. Yes, at least from everything that I've been learning about HTML, CSS, and even from Kado programming our games, from what I can see, if you're not feeling pain while programming, you're either a god or you're not programming that well. You know, yeah. like <laughs> if, if you're feeling the pain, you're doing something right. You know, yeah. you're, you're going the right way. It's it, kind it of like be the, painful. It's kind of like the gym in that sense. It, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's more. Yeah. No, no, it's more like a like, birth. We said it the other day, right? It's like a mental birth. Exactly. Yeah. It feels good when it's done that it it, it happens, hmm. but it's painful. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. So we have a min height of auto, but we don't really need it to be auto because we do have size. Can can I see the size of this? You did see the his last one, right? What? Um, yes, there was this stuff is set up. Well, rest it overflows because individual margins are set bigger inside. Yeah, I think I understand that. <laughs> I think I think I understand that. Yeah, in general, like when you get too small, it's impossible. Th that's the gist, you know. <sighs> yeah, five cards agrees. It's uh, you are not programming well. Even gods feel pain when programming. Such is the way of these languages. Min height, min height, min height. What would be the min height of this? Hundred pixels. Oh, that didn't help. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> okay. Because they are display flex, right? Yeah, if you take off the display flex, they already do what they're supposed to. But then if I take off the display flex, will they line up? No. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. A tit for a tat, per se. Uh, am I gonna use... Am I gonna need to fucking use a media query? <laughs> let me see, let me see. Display flex. 
how to make items stack. Okay. Uh, no, Siri cookies only. Okay. <laughs> Display flex, flex direction column. Container. Okay, okay, okay. You check here. We have the container and then we have the in the bits inside. Dun, dun, let, me, let me go here real quick. Because we have the section. Yeah, we have their dot video playlists. Is it? Yeah, that is assigned to it. Okay. Maybe we can do the display flex there. Yeah. Let's see, I guess. Oh no, because then it's gonna. Hmm, but maybe that could work. Okay, okay. Nope! Hmm. Nope. Are you sure? <laughs> it, that didn't work. Things just went away. <laughs> <laughs> array or array? Array. Array, exactly. Go uh, saucy. Uh, I think I need to divide things more. Mm? I think Saucy is going to need to move on, fortunately. But hey, been great having you. Been great having you, Saucy. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am sorry for the struggles, but it's part of programming, especially yeah, when yeah. you're as new to it as I am. Yeah, they were. Thank you were, so much. They were sorry they couldn't help more, but hey, it's, it's okay. all a part of it. It's the good vibes already helped, my bro. Thank you so much for joining it, and thank you for the well wishes. Have a great shower. And may it be very enjoyable and it's the rest of relaxing. the day also, and the rest of the day also, right? Yeah, I don't know how much day you you have left, but yeah, he says maybe he's really starts, good. Again, he's going to start his day, so yeah, because we have then we have did inside display flex and then flex direction column. Hmm, that's not what I expected you to do. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Huh. 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 That's, that's, that's weird. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think what I'm gonna do. What to do? What to do? I'm gonna put another div here to encompass the the iframes. I think yes. Yes. This is my hunch, and I'm gonna go with my hunch, and then class equals. I'm gonna go with um, playlist. I don't know, man. Subdiv. I guess that's the name of this now. Could be a better name. It's really hard to name the divs. <laughs> Why not name it something fun like Megatron? Because you need a naming convention, or else you go insane. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but this div is under the div of the container, so it's gonna need to go here. Okay. Posture. Wait, did I automatically fix it by doing that? No. Okay. Now I need to go the other way. Okay. Okay. Show, show the show the audience. Yeah, like I did that, and then they stacked up, but now they're not going back in a line. Let's see what's going on here off on the side. Because now we got this. And then we got this, which is a display flex center. Huh. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I need to then go thing again. Maybe I should just use a media query. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm fucking myself over by not trying to use media queries. But hey, let's 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 give it a go. Let's give it a go. What was the thing that was uh, that the guy suggested um structure that having the container have display flex column and then the items have display flex column. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to do exactly what I needed to do, but let's see. Um, so we got to, to, to play this container. There we got that playlist. Did I put a thing? Yes. Sub div. No, div not the other one. Uh, do this. So we need a display flex. And then this. No, not display. Uh, what was the other thing? It was display flex and. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah, flex direction column. Flex direction column, okay. Yeah, no, they're still in columns. Yeah, because I'm telling them to be in columns. That makes sense. That doesn't work for what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's not what I wanted it to do. Damn they. Okay, then I all fuck off. Do you want a cookie or something? Uh, no, I'm fine. Yeah, because it can either go roll, wrap, wrap, wrap. That rap. sounds. Do do a do a wrap around. Wrap around. Then we can. Yeah. I can, but then we don't even need the sub div. Yeah, I can just do this and then use this flex wrap. We wanted to wrap, right? Yeah. Did it not update? Yeah. Did it not update? No, it did. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> cool. 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 Okay, but why are you being diva now? You're not wanting to go back in the line. Why Why don't you go back in the line? Tell me, tell me. Buona. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a holiday. Okay, no, that, that ain't it. Um, Okay, this ain't it, this ain't it. Okay, now this. Life card also said this. Just generally asking if, mm. uh, if he's the only one who can't focus properly when listening to content when people talk, uh, where people talk while working. Like he can code the music, but if it's videos or other types of content, my focus is terrible, can't focus on code or the thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a sense, I kind of am doing that to you from by being here, so reading out the things in chat and, and that. No, it's okay. It's okay. This is weird. Nothing is making it go in a line. So maybe I just need to make it go in a line. Flex direction. Column. Fashion? No. But if I make it go in the column, it is column. And then it stays column. Okay, wait, let me think, 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 chat, think. Think with me. <laughs> write that down, chat. No, no need to write things down. Okay, the column is deeply fucking us. Okay, so flex direction column was not what we wanted. Okay, okay. So we don't need a flex direction? If I put a roll, will it roll, Jake? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's still in a column. But it, what? Fuck off. I hate when it does that. It's, it's still in a column, but it's now centered. Interesting. It's not centered. Huh. 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 
Hmm. This is confusing. Then we have this. Maybe we just need to tell this div to not stack. Maybe we do need it after all. For, for, for somebody that actually knows what they're doing with CSS, I probably look a little bit stupid right now. But hey, I am very new to this and also I am very tired. I spend all day cooking. So this is slow brain day. This is slow. Okay, slow so, motion. So let's do another display flex. This time, I'm gonna tell it that the flex direction is a roll. Let's save. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. No, now I done goofed again. I'm gonna use a fucking media query. <laughs> Do you give up? <laughs> this this kind of worked. Now I just need to add kind of like a gap here, gap of what, ten pixels, I guess. And there needs to be, I think, a little bit more than 10 pixels. No, stop doing the thing. I don't want you to auto-size my window. If anybody knows how to turn off that thing, let me know. Like the little thing that pops up when you drag the window up here that makes it want to auto-size itself to something. Okay. Five card just commented that uh, yeah, sometimes even he even pauses the music to hyper focus. But if you if you kind of talk, they see he'll be me. So if see people see him with the, his mouth shut on stream, not speaking, it's because brain is confusing. Oh yeah. And there's people watching movies while working and doing other stuff, multitasking. Huh? Rick is one that does that. <laughs> I don't do that. It depends on what I'm doing. Like when I'm doing the more brainless parts of my job, because yes just a day job in testing software has a lot of parts that is that are kind of brainless like there's parts where i need to focus and on those parts i just listen to music but sometimes when i'm doing some of the more boring parts like just formatting shit you know on excel and on open texts i just play i put a, a video playing in the background But again, not exactly big brain stuff. Yeah. Next breath. Let me see. We can go to about... I'll be right back. 980, I think. 980 pixels. Oh, did I need that again? Oh yeah, then I need to open the thing and then do this. Yeah, then I need, can put it inside what I need. Yeah, okay. Still learning, still learning. I'm still learning. I know. I am a little slow on the certain things. I'm still learning how to use media queries. So now what I need is to set this subdiv. Um, div -a -tip -a, open the thing. And then I need to basically set the flex direction to column. Save. Okay, so now, will I go to column please? Why you not go to column please? Did I save? Did I save? I saved. Why you not go to column? Why you not do the thing that I ask you to do? Why? Why? I set a fucking media query. You motherfucker. Actually, I might want a cookie. Okay. That might be something that I want. Okay. <laughs> oh, because I didn't set any pixels, you stupid. There you go. Oh, yay, it did work. Okay, okay. It did work. So now, yeah. Yay, sometimes media queries are the answer. Okay, the gap is good, the gap is good there, the gap is good there, okay. And if we go, let me see, the smallest one, I think it was the iPhone 11, yeah. Yeah, it's still a good space. Yay! Woo woo! We did it! did it? We did it, but this is looking a little bit big though. 
Why, why is this a little bit on the bigger side, the title? It's an H2 with, with the class of title. Let's see the here. size. Not a preference. Oh, I wanted a broa. Ah, uh, okay. I'm a broa. Okay, okay. I wanted a broa. We have a margin bottom. Oh, we do have it set on the text size. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not need any of that. The fuck are you? Why did I put this here? This is stupid. I have it set automatically. There you go. Yeah, now it's much better because I have that set automatically as media queries in the beginning of the code of the website. Um, so it's it's automatically sizing, you know, and all that. So now when we do the stretchy stretches, it's stretchy stretches with the stretchy stretches, you know, it grows and does the things the way it should and becomes the size that it should, I think. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah, because it's an H2. Should it be an H2, though? Now that I that I think of it? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I am using H2s. Okay. This one's looking a little bit bigger. Or is it because I just haven't messed with it? Let me see. The history one. Yeah, 40. Yeah, it's just the base H2. Okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to... We're gonna probably need to clean up more code. That's what that basically told me. So let's go back to tiny iPhone size. Okay, so we got here, we got that. So now we need to work on the branding part. Okay, so this is the branding session. Cool, we got it there and then we got it here. So now let me come to this screen and do the investigation. Oh wait, I had it open there. Wait, let me close this so I don't get confused. Here's the branding, okay. So the title is doing bueno, but we need to take away that size and that font because the font we don't need and the size is fucking up with the, the breakpoints that we have. So we can take these two just completely out, boom. Okay, yeah, it's good. Thank you. Let's have a broa break. Bro break. For those who don't know, who are not Portuguese, this is a broa. It is a beautiful it's a, a pastry. Is it a pastry? A, I think so, yeah. It's a sort yeah. of a pastry. Yeah, it's a beautiful pastry. That's a nut that, one, though. Yeah, this is a nut one. Sorry for all the people that are allergic to nuts, but they're really, really good. <laughs> they're very tasty. Five card describes it as baked loaf of bread, not your typical loaf, but a typical, mm. a typical super good. That's bread. another broa, bro. There's many broas. There's different types of broas. This is like the biscuit broa, and there there's a bread broa. Right, 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 yeah. right. That is true. Two different sure. broas. There's many broas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the book bang. I don't I don't remember if I have a screen for this. Oh I do. There we go. It's not a small broa though. Wait, yeah, it's small. But it's not the same as the bread. That's the thing. Mm. Like it's not a bread. It's not a cake either, it's a broa. Yeah. Let me just finish chewing, guys, and then I'll go back to this game. I don't want anybody seeing me chewing. It's weird. It's also very dense. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're back. I'm almost done chewing, but the worst part is over, so <laughs> I feel like I can turn on the camera again. Okay, so we fixed the title, amazing. Now we need to fix the rest of everything. <laughs> mm hmm.
because we've got this content is clearly overflowing needs more things on it okay let's good old display oh yeah because this is that section that we have we'll go with a little bit more yeah that has the squares and the this let me let me open something else real quick here that can help us one more thing which is my figma file with the design of this i forgot i'm about to start a cultural war with language yeah like men is it's not our fault that like there's like a thousand different broas there's broa the bread there's broa the biscuit and then there's broa the getting high <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be another media query situation for this one. I'm feeling like I've been a lazy dev for using media queries, but it's so much easier to design with media queries. And it doesn't even need to be that pixel perfect. Because maybe, like, maybe you can give it a go, like before you were using it. Because I basically it. want to change the direction that it's doing, like over here. Wait, let me zoom out. Over here, the design is basically like these over here and then these over here. And all that I need to change is, like, for the order of them, instead of appearing like this, they appear like this. So instead of being a row, they're a column. Okay. That's so simple with a media query, probably, I think, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for my mukbang on, on stream, too, because I was, I, I was chewing and I am relatively close to the mic. <laughs> Damn, man, you chewed that loud, you're not that close. I don't know, man, it's a good mic. <laughs> I guess it's a very good mic. Okay, so we have da, 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 we have the bending. Five card does agree that it's super simple using a media query. Yeah, man, I totally get you. It's so much easier. Okay, so we have the branding content, and then I have like a div for the color squares. Yes, and then I have a div for the logo branding. Wait, things are fucky in this code. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do I have? two statements for the same class what the fuck that makes no sense wait color square color squares mm. let's see <laughs> yep that deeply fucked sh uh, shit up go back go back that, <laughs> that was actually correct let's go back okay so I cannot fuck with that What? what is that Oh, it's here, okay. It's probably this, and then color black. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it, I'm not that stupid, okay. Yeah, but these are the individual things, so that's fine. We need to be worried about the div that contains all of them, which is this one, which is this one. So if we take off the display flex, they do that. Okay, so we can't do that on the media query. We need to keep display flex. Yeah, maybe we can just tell them to be a color. Yeah, yeah, maybe that will work. Let's try that, I guess. At media. Uh, da -da, max width. What was the thing that. Yeah, max dot with, with the thing width. I probably need to totalunes. Wait, did you did you see what he said about the? Um. Uh, it's not the same. There's an S in it. Pay attention to the names. I also hate that type of naming things. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I got it. Okay. It was because of the class because they basically put two class for two classes on the same div. Okay. So over here, like you have color square which is like the first class which all of them have the same which basically sets like the size, the size of the square right, right. and then color black color white color red right, you know? right so right. the second attribute right right okay so i want to do that and i want to do a dot printing content and then let's open another thing and I do want to keep it display flex. And then we're going to do flex direction. 
we wanted to go to column. Oh no. Okay. She got that. Okay. That's not. This is not bad, but now we need to fix this. Because these boys are lining up as a column, and when we get to this side, we need them to be on a row. Hello. Hello, child. Beautiful doggo. You want this? Okay. 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 I have a pupper now. Carl, crawled up. Yeah, exactly. This is a column. If I did this, they would be a rule. So I need to basically overwrite that in the media query. So in here, we need to also add dot color squares. Yeah, dot color squares. And then display flex, flex direction, roll. Why? 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 Why no worky? Why no worky? <laughs> why no worky? <laughs> why? 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 Yeah, the media query is not working. Why is it not working? Why does the media query not query? <laughs> why, is, why is the query not query? Exactly. <laughs> why? Why it no work? Why? Why? I don't get it. Do I need a refresh? No, it's not a refreshing issue. Okay. That did not work. Mm, display none, maybe? Five cards said. Nope. Said two things. He said we need an alert to pet dog for our streams, <laughs> and uh, you have the changes for squarers after the media query. Well, yeah. It was supposed to be. <laughs> you said square stuff, then the media query. Mm, but it's set here already. Like it's stacking in the column. And like the order. That doesn't matter inside a media query. The order says, says the order is important. What? Really? Okay, 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 then. I'll put this media query after it then. Wait, it needs to be after, right? Yeah, you said square stuff, then query, the media okay. query. Okay, then let's do. Du -du 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 where does it end? Let me check, let me check. Yeah, I think it ends in the medium logo. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's set the media query here. Let's say, you were right, it does matter. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know it mattered. Okay, so. But now says we the need proper to... ways to have two media queries. Really? <laughs> um, da, 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 just a f no, I can use a margin probably. Margin zero auto, our best friend, the one and only, the one we can always count on. There we go. <laughs> and then probably no, but this is going to be a gap between them. I need a gap here, probably. A gap of 30 pixels. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. We have this, and then it shrinks and goes to this. But now, what we need is for these images to start being, you know, sizing down and stuff. Because they're not doing that. So that is our next issue. <laughs> oh, the image container is here. Okay, that's probably it. No, that's not. No, no, the image container is for the next session. Okay, so it's logos branding. Do two logos I branding. Know, just so you know, we are hitting an hour and 15. Oh. And he can says you can leave it as is, it's fine. What? Five card says 
Oh, no, bro. I'm not gonna leave it as is. Come on. Like, this looks ugly. Like, look at this. No. Like, we can't even see one of the colors. Like, no, 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 no. I want to be proud of this. So, like, we're making these fit that, uh, this screen and work. Yeah, let's see. He says, <clears throat> yeah. But yes, the changes are made in order from top to bottom when you were affecting things in the media for you first and then affecting everything after. Oh, you're saying about but not having But then how come I have media queries all the way in the beginning that are affecting the entire website? Uh, he says here, uh, also the thing was, uh, the leaving it as is was that he was talking about the two media queries. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, so logos, branding, flex, column... Yeah, we got a cover going on here. Maybe we need. Ah, oh, because we got a fix with. Fucking fix whiffs. Fix whiffs. Max whiff. Min height. That's probably already gonna fix. Yep. Okay. Max whiff. Min height. That's another thing that the internet has taught me that like, oh, wait, okay. Like, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little better, but it's still not doing exactly what we wanted to do. Like they are growing. See, it works. But You're there the top squished. one is just like overflowing and disappearing and the bottom two are squishing. So we need to work on that. How, um, let's see. It's probably the this the object fit. Um, it probably shouldn't be cover. Let me try something else for the large logo. Contain. Mayhaps. Let's try contain. Five card has okay. say. Five card did say that it you because you should have yeah. everything for query uh, query media, per per query media media query. And I guess that was the response for what you were asking earlier. I don't know. And but hey, but yay, yeah, it works. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But yes, order have orders and having query media queries for everything is important. Okay, I am learning. I am learning. Yeah, but in I general, you can minimize what you do in media queries, but still use them, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like I'm. I'm. I was starting to become a little too extreme with the lack of use of media queries, like. It doesn't make me lazy, it just needs to know media. when. Wait, where to go? Okay, they're here. Okay. They're queer? They are sizing up and down. The logos are good, I think. And then they go up like this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does work, it does work. It's funny how this boy now is a little bit smaller when it's on the bigger screen. Yeah, but the max width is still bigger than the other ones. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem for tomorrow me or future me, as Kado would say. Future Taina. Yes, future Roxy. Respect. Sorry, future Roxy. Anyway, now <laughs> we need to go back on the media queries because we need the color squares. We got them on a roll, but now we need a ma we need a max width. Yeah, it's probably a max width that we're missing. Now, what's gonna be the max width? If the minimum size we're gonna go is three hundred and sixty, like about three hundred sixty, and then I guess that's my. I'm gonna put three hundred as my max width, I guess. Huh. Oh, for the object, I okay. see. Okay. I see. They're no longer squares, but we could embrace that. It doesn't look bad for the thing, since they are squares that are meant to show off the colors, right? Yeah, it doesn't look bad, necessarily. I, I'm not enjoying the spacing here, though. I feel like this spacing is very exaggerated when it's on mobile. I feel like we can work on it a little better. Um, this is colored squares. Rending content, yeah, logos. 
Yeah, it's this. It's the gap. Yeah, because we have the justify content as space between. It's what's giving that. Maybe if we just set. Maybe if we set a gap. Because I feel like it's okay with the, the, the big screens, but I feel like with tiny screens, it's just, it becomes a lot of space, especially on, on the mobile. Yeah, like there's a lot of space here. But is it just a, no, it's not, wait, but it's not the, the, the space between. It's the images. Oh, they have an uh, empty space on top and no, below. No, they have set widths in the HTML. Why did I do that? Ewe! <laughs> Disgusting! Why? The audacity. The aud exactly. Why? Why would I do that? Ewe. That is so ewe. Nope. This. And this, okay, save. Hmm, that did not help. Strangely, it's still exactly the same. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it's the min height. I've, uh. I've, exa I've exaggerated the min heights. Okay, that's it. Okay. We don't need a min height that is that big. We can cut it to like half on the first logo. Let's see, min height. So we can cut it to... What is half of 157? I think about like, what, 70 pixels, maybe? Yeah, cool, that works. Yeah, that works. Amazing. Okay. So that one we got a 70 and now we need for the medium ones. Okay. We need a think 60. Might be too little. Whoa, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay. But they are all the same size. So I'm gonna embrace that maybe? I'm gonna embrace that. Yeah, I'm gonna embrace that. I'm gonna embrace that. So now we have this logos branding. We need to put some gaps in between them so we make sure that they have gaps even on the smaller screen that the justify content is not a working. So let's put a gap. So five card five relates to your you reaction. It's him whenever he looks at all the code that he made. I know. Sometimes we're a little dumb when we're coding and it's like, Ewe, why did we do this? Like, why? It's me using AI. Sometimes I forget to question their code. Yeah, and I'm just it, like, oh yeah, it's fine. And then it's like, no, it no it's not, girl. No, I think not. it happens either way. He doesn't use AI as much. Okay, but now the squares are a little bit the fucky. Bit the fucky? As you can see, like, they're now overflowing a little bit there on the side. Hmm. For some reason that I do not understand. To the right. Yeah. <gasps> margin Zero Auto has betrayed us. What? It was the Margin Zero Auto. <laughs> it has betrayed us. Yet oh, again. But, but then it does the thing. Wait, what? Huh. It works when it's like that, but then when it's like this, it does not work. Is that, could maybe that have oh, something But this to do does with the size. I, w I think I was going way too small again. Yeah, because that's probably because of the s bit too small size. Okay, let me just check. I keep ne needing to check, like... Can I edit the list so I can... I wish they had the actual sizes here so I could see like, oh, what's the smallest phone? I think I'm going to put some cheap iPhones. Ooh, some LG and some Microsoft. Yeah, okay. Let's put some weird ass phones in here. Like so we're just like yeah. making sure. 
The iPhone 5 and the Nokia. There you go. So he really takes that up to optimization to heart. Responsive design. See? Look at this bitch, man. Look at the Nokia. Look, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna ignore you, your existence. Okay. Oh, it seems okay. It doesn't seem centered, but it's weird. Okay. Okay. But it seems to me that like the smallest ones that are reasonable are around the 360 mark. Yeah, 320 is the smallest one. Okay, so we're gonna use this this screen as a as a basis. Now, is it just me or are things not centered? <laughs> I think they're centered. They're not. Oh yeah, there's a little scooch to the side there. The, the the blocks of color are centered, but the rest is is a little scooched. Why is that? I think everything is a little scooched. Yeah. What happened? Is it because of the length of the screen? Was it a bug? Because now I think it fixed itself. <laughs> I think it was a visual bug because I think it fixed itself. Okay. Huh. Huh. Five card says, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty sure nobody will still use those Nokia. Nokia's like that in this day and age. Chew that, chew that. Okay, but the squares are working. The logos are working. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. And he also said that AI code is never fine. It's useful to understand what you want to do, but not to actually do the thing you want. Yeah. That's why you never copy paste. No, never copy paste. I know. I've learned that the hard way. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. No, it still does the, the, the centering thing. That's weird. When I go into the iPhone, it decenters. But then on the si uh, 6, it's centered again. I'm just good. I'm going to use the 6. I don't care. iPhone 6? Yeah. I mean, yeah, at this point... On my phone, it would be perfectly fine, I think. Yeah. It would be perfectly well, fine. What, what's the... Do you think there's any iPhone 6 that's still alive at this point? Like, they're, I don't they're know, man. you got to be looking something. out for, a, like, somebody out there with an old-ass iPhone just wanting to see our website. I want them to be able to enjoy the website, you know? Okay, I, but uh, now we need to... Okay. That space is bueno. Okay, I think we're good in this session. Oh, yeah, it's this boy. Okay. Now we need to tackle the drawing images. So first of all, I got to tackle that gigantic amount of space there. The margin top is very much exaggerated. Yeah, it's not, not needed. Okay, so that is main title. Yes, margin top. I think I can cut it to like a solid 48. It's gonna be much better. Yeah, much better, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we got that. Now, let me check my Figma file real quick because now I'm at a loss. Okay, so I need to sh make that go up. Okay, these boys are already pretty much behaving the way they should. That makes me happy. Hell yeah. Okay, so now within you, okay, yeah, you have a margin top as well that needs to go. Oh, and this title as well, yeah, I need to make sure I remove this and the font so it doesn't fuck with the media query I have set on top. Beautiful. Now, game icon section, game icon section, yeah, this margin top needs to be drastically lowered i don't know what it was i thinking with it being that big maybe it's still worked, a little big maybe it, it could be a like a solid 30. like it doesn't need to be that big for anyone like you're going to full yeah oh it was because i was trying to make it be like in the middle of the the other one, okay, I get it. Because I wanted it to be like here. Like instead of both of them starting up here, I want it to be like in the middle, but that's so useless and fucks up with the optimization, so I'm not gonna have that. We're just both gonna be up here, hanging out next to each other, and then we have the slideshow. Yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna do. Because then when they collapse, 
it's more pleasant pleasant to the eye like the spacing and all that like it works and yeah. then when we collapse even more hopefully it's gonna be okay yeah it's still okay beautiful we have yeah, the imposter yeah. and the thing that works beautiful this was a part of the website that I feel like I coded better to begin with so it was easier to mess with you right. see like there's max width max height and like I didn't just use fix width and fix height so it was easier in general to optimize because I was just nicer to myself okay five cards giving you a little that little we thank you five card let's go now something I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do that today but something that I am thinking of doing but I think it's gonna take JavaScript so I'm not gonna do it today is that I really want to try to make this like open up the images you know like when you click it I really wanted to like open up the why does it do this what the fuck why does it do mm -hmm. this what <laughs> excuse me do phones do how what like there's nothing here on the website is that what would happen if they went into desktop mode on the phone? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's a problem for future me. Anyway, we're on a victory. <laughs> I, I just hope Google doesn't bother us with WebBB errors and stuff. They... Like, I did, like when he did that crappy website. Nah, I think it's gonna be okay. At least on the last things that I've like... Hmm. Pipecard says that the scrolling to the side is a bit is a problem. It is? I wonder if that's where the overflow was. No, but it but why, why is it doing that? I don't know. Yes. Pipecard okay, says yes. yes. So I guess Probably that's... because it was the overflow problem was this. Okay. But why though? <laughs> There's a size thing set up there. There's a size thing set up there? What what size thing? Crapping things. Crapping things. Okay. <laughs> Scroll behavior is smooth. No. Where's the where the describe this size thing set up? Probably in the CSS. Of course, it's the CSS. It's always the CSS, <laughs> which I know we need to find out. Okay, let's investigate then. Wait, it's probably we best are, to investigate here. We are in the inspector. And we are at an hour and thirty. If you decide that you need to investigate this some other day instead, because you're tired, it's okay. Okay. We don't have any sizing here. This is the header, so probably not here. What if it isn't the header? Okay. Was it? No, it's not. True body. It's not the max width, I think. Or is it? Or is it? No, it isn't. Okay, it's not the max width. Oh, scroll to the side, then inspect. Mm hmm? The icons? Is it because of this? Maybe. Because those are yeah, because those aren't yet Optimized. You haven't done okay. those yet. Okay. But it's a question then of just continuing optimizing, maybe? But that doesn't really make sense. Why why is it even letting it do that? That's confusing. It says that you will know the Oh yeah, you find it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, if you found I think you found it, yeah, he agrees that you found it. It is like it, other things just need to be like. I think so, yeah, because on. you are starting from top to. You were doing this from top to bottom, but you haven't yeah. done the, the bottom half of the, the page. Yeah. Though I am starting to feel the tiredness, <laughs> I gotta say. And we did just finish uh, the branding one. Because it's not set up properly in the query, in media query, that element. Oh no, I just haven't set up this element yet. 
Yeah, he has, she hasn't done that part yet. But okay, yeah. it's good to know that there that is an important thing to keep in mind. It's probably as she here. progresses. Wait, wait, let me see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, not that, not that. Yeah, social media. Where is it? Yeah, title socials. Yeah, social. Yeah, there you go. It's literally here. Uh, min height max width and then okay the icons I do need them to actually be oh no because I probably need them mm. Yeah, to make them stack, I'm gonna need to change them. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna leave this for later because what I'm gonna need to do is that I'm gonna need to change the display. I need this to be a grid and not a flex. That's what's probably making them do that. Wait, where are they again? There you go. Yeah, let's go here. Where are they? Social media. Uh, yeah, Pavgar seems to agree that yeah that everything should be set up properly but without which scrolls but the problem was that should be fixed after setting up everything exactly because what I'm gonna need to change here is like right now it, it's on display flex it's using display flex and it's just like doing its thing as a display flex and it's not flexing to the thing when I put this as a grid I can probably Chop it into, bit, into bits. Yeah. Yeah. I, child, stop dancing on my lap. <laughs> if I use display grid instead. Where is it? Yeah, it's gonna stack up because it's just doing one. One square. One square. But where was the thing? I used it all the way up here. Yeah, repeat auto film in max. There you go. I keep forgetting how this goes, so I just keep copying it. Uh, blah, 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 image containers. Where was I? Main title section. No, no. Yeah, here. Okay. It was. Fuck. What was the name of the thing that I needed to set for this? Ah! Okay. Uh, it was grid template columns. Yeah. Okay. 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 We got it, 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 we got it. Yeah. Grid template columns. And then we do this repeat auto fill, but then this boy we're gonna set it at 48 pixels because I feel like that was the size of the whoop. That was the size of the the icons. Okay, no, that did not work out well. I mean hi is that the problem no mm, let me where is it there you go hmm that's strange I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what I said in the beginning and I'm gonna leave this for tomorrow not tomorrow but when I go back to this because I will so I can try to figure this out with a slightly more rested head because I'm still figuring out how to use display grid. I'm still very much new to that. But hey, I feel like we've made a lot of progress today. Like we've got, let's go back to the beginning. Like we've got a design that solidly like stretches and pulls. I'm gonna set to the iPhone thing. And like we're able to see everything things are not fucky the fonts I think are very appropriate for the screen size even though the playlists here are stacking nicely we got the branding the game stuff the carousel that is still working I did not fuck with it then we only gonna have these less parts to do that's what I still need to finish try to get these logos to collapse upon themselves then this is just like a part that is still going to be coming i still need to have stuff to put here 
and then work out how our images are gonna be a flow and and the doing things and then the footer which is gonna be a whole nightmare <laughs> by itself but it's fine it's gonna be fine let me check something real quick yeah no that's not the body that has something to do with the footer right Oh no, is it this? No. Weird, the website has like an extra bit at the bottom. Huh. That's gonna be interesting to fix. That's, that's gonna be very interesting to fix. But I'm happy with what we've done now. I've, I'm very proud to even be able to do this because I've just started coding like three or four months ago so I didn't even knock do any of this and now there we have it there's still little things like as you can see here the buttons are not going all the way here I'm still gonna try to fix that or at least find like some other way to do the the, the writing like there's little things here and there that I'm still gonna work yeah this is not centered on the full screen I still need to fix that but surprisingly I didn't break as many things as I thought I was I would it's it's actually shaping up pretty nicely and i'm very very happy yeah but i think this is gonna be it for today i'm gonna close yeah, this i'm not really finding anything good for for a rating personally. it's okay We're, we can go without a raid today unless yeah, we, chat has any any suggestions but i feel like everyone's a little poo pooed today and just chilling and lurking yeah. as you should and i do not like i'm not upset with you i would be doing the same thing because it's a holiday, people are wanting to relax, and that's exactly what we did, encoded. So, I'm gonna stop the music, and I'm gonna thank you all so much for watching. But before I let you guys go, yes, thank you for reminding me to take the meat off that I already cooked. Uh, before I let you guys go, I'm just gonna do that. One last reminder that we do have a website, that page that I'm working on is for this website. That is Untitled Games uh, uh, UGS.pt because we're Portuguese. So, this is our beautiful little website that was built with Webflow. I wasn't yet coding fully, but I did do a little bit here and there. But you, ca you can see the little errors still. Webflow isn't that, that easy and that intuitive. That's why I just went into full code. But yeah, this is Joyan's page where you can find out a lot of stuff about the game. Life card actually, what does it say? That he's it's coming along as a programmer. He's very proud of you making a website from scratch instead of the other thing we used before, the paid thing. Yeah, Webflow. Yes, Webflow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Webflow was like, it was just, it's handy if you really do not have the time or like just don't want to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But at the same time, it's almost just as much work to learn how the platform yeah, works so it might as well just learn the fucking code man yeah, like it's not it that hard to make it as that as easy as one would think yeah but yeah this is our beautiful website where you can find like you can buy us a coffee you can check out our games on itch our alphas not full games our alphas and be warned one is loud one is short <laughs> and very hard and <laughs> These are social medias this, if you want to... This is a, can I just bonk? So I think I'm going to bonk. Fine. <laughs> These are our social medias if you guys want to check them out. Because we do stream every week on Fridays at 6pm GMT. But we also put out a lot of other content throughout the week on social medias. We have a Discord that we're constantly talking in. Instagram that we're constantly posting stuff. TikTok for the clips of these streams. And then Twitter because it still exists somehow. And I refuse to say the other name of this platform. So it's still Twitter. Fuck you Elon Musk. And YouTube, of course, with VODs and clips and stuff. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. This was a very, very nice little stream, little Friday night hanging out stream. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And have a wonderful Friday, wonderful weekend. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye! I can't really raise my arm because the dog is on my arm. Where's the audio? Where's my audio? Okay, bye guys. <laughs>